Welcome to Jesus Meditations. Let's start with some deep, slow breathing. Make a very small hole with your lips so that you can breathe in and out with a thin stream of air. One, breathe in. Two, breathe deep. In now hold. Now breathe out. So slow, stress, fear, let go. One, breathe in. Two, breathe deep. Inhale and hold. And breathe out. So slow, stress. You'll continue to breathe throughout the meditation. One, breathe in. Breathe deep. Inhale. Hold. Now breathe out. Keep breathing, deep and slow. To a large extent, I have learned what love is by learning what it is not. It is not romance. I fell in love in high school, got my heart broken, broke his heart, and probably walked away from all that drama with a tendency toward depression. I thought it was love, and yes, it was a certain type of love, but it wasn't the love that never fails. Love is not conformity. I was once involved with a religious group that locked step on many righteous practices. We agreed with one another's views and considered ourselves unique and special as a group. That sense of specialness and the high level of conformity made us feel united. But that didn't last either. In-group favoritism, collective self-righteousness is not true unity. Love is not control. In marriage, I have tried to make my husband to my liking and he has tried to make me to his liking. We both thought this would enhance our relationship, yet it made love impossible because no one can love while being controlled. Try holding a gun to someone's head and saying, love me or else. No, don't try that. I'll tell you right now, it won't work. Plus, you might end up in jail. The list could go on and on with examples of how I've tried to love in all the wrong ways. My point is simply this, that love failures are okay because we still learn from them. Because if God shines a light through it, even the darkness is not dark. We learn what love is by learning what it isn't. What matters in the end is that we learn. Scroll through your life experiences. Think of a time when human love, yours or someone else's, failed. 
And now think of what you learned from that experience about how to love better. Thank God for that opportunity. Oh, love personified, you are trying to teach us how to love and be loved. Help us to see your tender mercies toward us as we try and try again. You know that these attempts occur in a context of sin, our sinful natures, other people's sinful natures, and that we will fall down. Thank you that even the darkness is light to you because of what can be learned. Love suffers long and is kind Love does not envy Love does not parade itself Is not puffed up Does not behave rudely Does not seek its own Is not provoked, thinks no evil Does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, in the truth, love never fails, love never fails, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things. Love suffers long and is kind Love does not envy Love does not parade itself Is not puffed up Does not behave rudely Does not seek its own Is not provoked, thinks no evil Does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, in the truth, love never fails, love never fails, bears all things, believes all things. Meditations comes to you courtesy of myself, Jennifer Jill Schwerzer, writer, creative, and executive producer. The meditations are recorded and produced by the illustrious Neville Peter, and all scripture songs are written and performed by Neville Peter.